And thirdly, if I can remember it, isn't there some benefit to having the government steal our money, which is what they do effectively. They'll hold a gun to our head and say, pay us 40% of your income or go to jail. They take this money and they give it mostly to government employees. Well, the government employees spend it. The marginal propensity to consume is pretty high. So the people who were robbed have to do something creative to get the money back. And isn't this creative activity the real wealth well, of Well, I take the it that they would have to be still more creative if 98% were being spent by the government. <laughs> <laughs> no, the third part of your thing is just pure fallacy from beginning to end. <laughs> because if those people who are now government employees were employed in creative activity and productive activity, they would also be spending their money. And we'd have a greater total around. All you're doing, and let's suppose for a moment, take the extreme case, that that 40% is being used just to have people uh, uh, sit around. The fact that they spend their money doesn't alter the situation. The only product there is is what the 60% produce. And that 60% is divided among the 100%. If those 40% are also producing goods, then there are more goods to go around among everybody. You are just involved in a fallacy of looking at dollars, which is important sometimes, instead of looking at the real product, the goods and services that people produce and people consume. Spending isn't good. What's good is producing. What we want to have is more goods and services. And as I say, the obvious indication that that's clear is that if your logic were right, it would apply it for 50%, 60%, 70 90 98 100%. And obviously, you would see that that would be a bunch of nonsense at that stage. It is desirable to have some money spent by government for those things, those services, that we believe we can get more usefully and more effectively through government. If people are getting their money's worth, fine. That's why it's very desirable to have governmental expenditures take place at as local a level as possible. Because you, as a citizen of a small community, can judge whether you're getting your money's worth. You can decide that you want to spend it. But when it comes to the federal government, you tend to think that you're spending somebody else's money. And you are, in a way. But he's spending yours. 